Hello and welcome to Culture Shock. My name is Julian. I'll be your host for this segment and today we're going to explore uh, culture from various forms of entertainment, art, media, all of it. And so here with me on Culture Shock today is Louis. Louis, tell me how to say your last name. Louis Ibarra. Louis Ibarra. Hi, nice to meet you. So Louis and I were talking before the camera started rolling. Um, and uh, you're a bio, biochemistry major. Yes, okay. So I have some, I have some weird questions for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spring off the biochemistry yeah. major, and I'm going to ask you something that you probably won't get very often, which is, what's your favorite genre of music? My favorite genre of music? Yeah. Oh. My favorite genre right now, okay. currently, I really like rock. I mean, not like rap. I really like rap right now. Okay, so I, I know that's a very di diverse like genre. So can you narrow that down for me? Like, what are some of your favorite artists right now? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Very, Kanye. very unheard of, you know, kind of guy. That's a joke. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's very well popular. Known. Yeah. yeah. Anyone else? Like. Um, I like Kanye West too. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time he uh, he put out an al album? Uh, was it 2016? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think That's 16. really interesting. So, how how do you think um, how do you think your major has affected? You know, not just your music taste, but how, how you how you see the world. Like, what what is it about biochemistry that resonates with your perspective? My major? Yeah. Hmm. I would say that like it kind of gives me a different point of view because you don't really see very many biochemists really looking at rap a lot. Okay. You, <laughs> yeah. You, like you don't see too many of them. Yeah. But when you do find some, like you become really good friends. Interesting. And stuff, so. Okay. Yeah. So would you say that? Um, you click well with the other people in your major, or do you feel like you're an outlier? No, I click well with the people in my nice. major. Nice. Okay. Um, Louis, you're telling me about that you're going to um, Cal State Fullerton yes. right now, um, pursuing a bachelor's in biochemistry. Yes. So, um, I know you already told me, but can you tell the audience what what um what are your goals afterwards? What are you going to do? I'm looking towards getting my PhD in biochemistry. Okay. So then I can later go on into pharmaceutical. Nice. Yeah. So. For, for, for those of us like me who have very little frame of reference for anything biochemistry, what, what does going into pharmaceutical as a biochemist look like? Um, well, it looks like everything that's medicine or anything that's medical, it's yeah. all going to pharmaceutical. Mm. So like a huge market is, or where all the money is going is pharma pharmacy. So if you create the new drug, like you make it out there. Okay, interesting. So. I know we were uh, talking about music earlier, um, so, uh, and, you, and you mentioned that you like rap music. So what are some of your favorite movies, right now at least? Some of my favorite movies that are out currently? No, just in recent memory, because you know, if you ask someone what their favorite movie of all time is, they sort of you know, yeah. get lost in the avalanche. So like, what, I what is it right now? My favorite movie of all time. Right now would probably have to be like Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock. Okay, nice, Alfred Hitchcock fan. Well, we're gonna have to hear more about that <laughs> a little after the break. So I just wanna tell you guys to stay tuned for more Culture Shock. Welcome back to Culture Shock. My name is Julian Babad. I'm your host, and with me remaining is uh, my guest, Luis. Yes. Um, Luis, we were talking about um, your biochemistry major, and you were mentioning that rap is your favorite genre of music, and you like Hitchcock. Yes. That that really that really makes me feel good because yeah. Hitchcock is one of the classics. Yeah, of course. Um, so you like Vertigo? I think, uh, unfortunately, that's my favorite Hitchcock movie of all time <laughs> too. So I'm kind of biased there. Um, 
Are you familiar with uh, s some of the other directors of the time, or is it just Hitchcock? No, that I'm, I'm, a, I'm familiar with Nice. Other okay, directors. cool. Um, of course, some of your other favorite directors are, are movies that you think. I, I really like Stanley Kubrick's oh. uh, Clockwork Orange. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. Nice. I'm switching gears a little bit from Clockwork Orange because. I know that movie has uh, a lot of uh, you know, yeah. dystopian <laughs> themes and, and, and such, and often uh, stories like that can tread into the into the sp sphere of science. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how how well represented do, do you feel is your ma major in like storytelling and um, like movies and music and video games? Um, like my major in general. Yeah, like the things you've learned. Like, do you feel a disconnect between what you've learned and? what stories are portraying about, you know, science and whatever. Science? Yeah. Um, I believe, like, in Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey, mm. like, I, I believe a lot of the stuff he was talking about in that movie were scientifically accurate, and um, I feel like uh, a lot of movies today are also trying to get more science sciency, like, in The Martian, that oh, like, recently yeah. came out. Yeah. And, like, I believe movies are trying to be more scientifically accurate or to hit more of the science people who are like, oh yeah, that's right. Or yeah. So, you mentioned The Martian, mm -hmm. and you say that movies today are striving to, to, to be more scientific. Yeah. So, so what, is the, what is that spirit of, of being scientific? Because I know um, a long time ago, movies, they just put things that sounded, you know, science-y, yeah. but, but now there's, uh, would you say, like a striving for honesty? Or yeah. What is the spirit of um, a, a scientific movie? Like, w what would those themes look like? Um, I would say, like, it's more of to just connect with the audience, like, make them feel like it's realistic, you know? Yeah. Like, if, if the movie feels genuine and realistic, then people would believe it. So, okay. if someone getting stuck on Mars and able to survive, people would believe it. You know? mm, yeah, there should be, okay, a level of realism. Do you think that the, um, the scientific method and the, like, the, the rigor of, uh, of science the skepticism, does that have any place in, in storytelling? Does it have any place in media? Uh, I, I think it definitely does. I think it, it definitely has like a huge impact on what people see and what people want to see. Yeah, okay. Do you think that there is um, a responsibility for, for media to uh, encourage the sciences in people? I think definitely. Uh, what kind of examples are of you know, art can you think of that, w that would do that? I know the Mar Martian's a great one. Is very inspiring to me personally. Yeah, um, you know, like besides just like space, because space is what everyone loves. Yeah, like truly, just looking up in the sky. Um, I would think it also has to do a lot with, um, you know, like cars. Mm. For exa an example, like people are so into cars, and uh, like you see the Fast and the Furious doing like flips and everything, which is like <laughs> so, you know, all CGI and yeah, everything. Yeah, I think physics would have a word yeah, with that. Yeah, and then yeah. when people see it on the theater, they're like, oh, that's g that can't happen. Yeah. So I think um, I think people really want to see the science part of everything. They mm. want to see the realism. Yeah. Do you think um, audiences uh, feel cheated when, when something is kind of ridiculous? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, okay. I, I, I would agree, but... On the on the other hand of the spectrum, wh what what are some of your guilty pleasures art wise? What can you just turn off your brain and enjoy, regardless <laughs> of the ridiculousness? Um, well, I went. I recently went to go see the, the movie Rampage. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and and that that was a very entertaining movie. Like even though it's ridiculous, but <laughs> it, it was it was really entertaining. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you, Luis, for talking to me about your major and um, how it influenced the kind of art you enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, this has been Culture Shock. I'm your host, Julian Babad, and remember to catch another episode of Culture Shock next week.